Hello guys and welcome to a grey and beautiful day here in New Zealand. We are Karen and Patrick, a Swiss travel couple that is on the road since October 2019. We are documenting our story while we are traveling and yeah, if you want to be a part of it, join us on our trip around the world. And subscribe to the channel to don't miss an episode from us. So guys, actually we have some bad news because we wanted to desperately see Milford Sound but unfortunately the weather was really really bad. It was even that bad that the streets to Milford Sound got washed away so unfortunately we were not able to visit Milford Sound which is one big attraction of the South Island here in New Zealand. Although we were really looking forward to seeing Milford Sound we decided to continue our travels so that's why we are already here at the Franz Josef Glacier which is an iconic spot here at the west coast of the southern part of New Zealand. So actually, it is quite famous to take a helicopter up to the Franz Josef Glacier. That sounds really, really tempting, but unfortunately for us, it is way too expensive to go on this adventure. And actually, in Switzerland, we have a couple of glaciers ourselves. So actually for us, it's not that really special. But if you are here and never saw a glacier, this is a really cool way to get up there and have a first-hand experience. Actually, where we are right now, this is as close as you can get today to the Franz Josef glaciers um, due to possible floodings. Uh, you can't go any further and behind me there is a little barrier which prevents us to go any further. And I think depending on the weather, uh, you can go much more closer to the glacier and I hopefully when you are here, you can get further and see this perfect glacier in front of you. And welcome to a new day here in New Zealand. Actually, I think you can hear it. It's pouring down. Yeah. It's raining so hard. And sometimes we even got up during the night because these raindrops are so loud. Mm. And yeah, we left Franz Joseph Glacier Village and we are now on our way up north. Uh, we are heading to the Countdown because we have to top up stock up our groceries so we are on the way to Greymouth this is a, I think a bigger city here at the west coast but first we have to pump up the tires because when the tires are low on pressure it uses a lot of fuel and we are currently at a petrol station where we are able to top up with air but yeah we have to get out into the rain yeah doesn't really look that amazing but there's one positive and you always have to look for one positive and Bob is clean again so that's yeah, one thing to look forward to when the rain stopped yeah so let's head out get wet and pump up these tires <laughs> Oh. Oh, shit. Oh. 
Because my rainy shoes are not working anymore, I need to wear flip-flops. Not the best weather to wear flip-flops, but they are water resistant, so not a good choice at all. As mentioned previously, we are staying in Greymouth, which is, I think, a bigger city at the west coast, at the southern part of New Zealand. And staying there, we thought it might be very nice to go a little bit up to see the pancake rocks which are literally stones stacked like pancakes. So let's head down to see how this looks like. Those formations of the pancake rocks are actually a mystery to everyone. Even scientists don't really know how they get there, how they come to have this formation. So therefore we don't really know what's happening. Of course there's the wind, rain, water, waves and probably everything together makes that beautiful shape that you can see in the video now. So guys, actually the pancakes aren't really the thing to see here. Well, they're beautiful, but actually every mountain looks the same. But you have to come because of the waves. There are so brutal waves and the water is splashing any, everywhere. It's really a stunning to see nature and its power. So come here to the pancakes rocks to see the waves. Wow, so guys, what an amazing experience that was. We were snorkeling with seals. Except with no seals. <laughs> <laughs> no, the seals were only laying on the rock. So unfortunately, the, all the footage you saw looked beautiful, but it wasn't really what we intended to do. We wanted to swim with seals and they didn't come into the water because there is quite a wind going, so they don't need to cool off and unfortunately that was our uh, downfall and we couldn't swim with seals. Apparently the company has a success rate of 96% and unfortunately we were in the 4% 
that were left. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. At least we were reimbursed a large part of our fee that we paid, so this is a high thumbs up. So the company we went with was the Seal Swim Kaikoura and we can highly recommend that you are going with them and they are really professional, have really good gear, so mm -hmm. Everything was set and the, actually it's a really beautiful day so yeah. everything was set for a perfect day but we weren't lucky. Yeah, I mean there is not a single cloud up there but I think it's just the wind that made everything impossible, impossible today. Yeah. So that's our episode for you. We will head onwards up north back to Auckland in the next couple of days. There will be another vlogs coming from New Zealand, so please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you think it is worth it. And yeah, see you in the next one. Bye!